Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to look at a recent purchase. Uh, this is the Ukrainian Jupiter Sim 05. And again, after the Chernobyl disaster, there was a big market for personal Geiger counters uh, to use at home. Uh, and this was one of the units that was made to fill the void. And obviously coming from Ukraine, people felt, well, obviously these people know what they're talking about. Uh, so powered off a single nine volt battery. Uh, it'll power the unit for about 500 hours. Uh, again, little LCD display, some basic instructions on the back. On the top, we have a combined on off switch. We have a combined uh, quick search mode and then normal search mode. And then we have a rotary dial here and that controls the alarm feature. Uh, so you can have it off, the alarm off, or you can have it in three different set thresholds. Now, turning the unit on, it enters a 25 second search mode. So it'll give you a base background uh, radiation reading uh, over 25 seconds, and then it'll update every 25 seconds after that. Uh, now, if you want to search fast on that, if you, there's an area you think is contaminated, you can turn on the quick mode, and that will then search update every two and a half seconds. Uh, so if you wanted to take a radiation reading off something very, very quickly, the two and a half second mode is the way to go. Or obviously turn the unit on and off again and enter the quickly, the, you know, the normal search mode. Now I have my therapy here, um, and as you can see there, the two of them side by side. This has been on for about 10 minutes or so, so it's, it's, it's settled down. But you can see that the radiation reading off both is, is reasonably similar. Um, obviously we've got uh, 0.27 uh, microsieverts here, and uh, we've uh, 0.22 uh, microsieverts here. And obviously it, you can see it's jumped up to 35. And the reason it's jumped up to 35 is this is slightly closer to a check source I have over here, which I'll bring in now. So I'll show you. Now what I want to do is I'm going to turn the unit off. I'm going to enter the quick search mode. And you can see it updates then every two and a half seconds. And that's obviously, as, as I said, it's gamma only, uh, single SBM 20 tube, they don't need to text gamma. So you can see it jumps about quite a bit, obviously, as it texts, as it detects. Now, if I turn the unit off again, put it back into normal mode, turn the unit on again, and I'll take the top off this. So you can see it search, it just does it as normal and then just adds up over those 25 seconds. And once it's finished its search, I'll uh, hold it up to the screen. So there we go, after 25 seconds, it detected 13.79 uh, in microsieverts. So nice little unit, does work very, very well for a unit from 1995, it, it's fantastic. Uh, LCD display works really, really well, nice and clear, uh, makes a nice noise as well. So if my Ukrainian trip ever happens and I do get to go to Chernobyl this year, uh, I think this will definitely be coming with me. But uh, yeah, definitely you need to pick up. I think I paid about £70 uh, pounds for this and that was posted from Ukraine um, along with my DP5A, which yes, did arrive today as well along with this in the same box. So look out uh, for the uh, DP5A sort of buyer's guide coming quite soon. But listen, as always, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.